in so many things. People may talk against you. They may plan evil things against you. But if you remain receptive, just like Joseph, you remain unarmed. Watakunja na watakuacha ukuo mesimama imara. Wanaeswa sifiwe. King Herod was a king by human appointment. Adikuwa mechaguriwa kupitia mkono wa mtu. Na this was very contrary to King Jesus. Jesus was a king by a divine appointment. Na kwa hivyo kama Yesu uh, alikuwa mfarume in a divine appointment, there is no way the human appointment would defeat, would kill the divine appointment. Na ndiyo maana Yesu wakatoroka ama Yesu ama Joseph and Mary escaped together with the baby Jesus to Egypt. I want to encourage you and tell you that there's no one who can threat God's plans. Yare Mungu amekupangia katika maisha yako. Lazima one day one time yatendeke. It doesn't matter for how long you are going to wait. Ainjarishi utakaa kwa muda gani? Lakini Biblia inasema ya kwamba what God has planned he has to fulfill. Even if it takes uh, 1,000 years. Bearing in mind that uh, 1,000 years in the presence of God is just like one day. But yes, was a few. Wale ambao wana kuonea wifu. Wale ambao wana kuriatia fitina kwa sababu ya kazi yako. Kwa sababu ya familia yako. Kwa sababu ya, ya, ya mboma yako. Kwa sababu ya uimbanji wako. Let me tell you they will do you no harm. Only that, be having a prepared heart and be ready, be receptive to God's guidance as Joseph was. Now, why was Aaron, there? Why was Aaron King Aaron, planning to kill baby Jesus? He was afraid that the newborn king, he would one day take his throne. But this was a miscalculated move. He completely, Aaron completely misunderstood the reason for Christ coming. Alimuerewa vibaya. Yesu kunja kwake, haku wamekuja, ili ya chukue ufarume wa erode. Kwa sababu ufarume wa Yesu, hauku wa ufarume wa kibinandamu. Ufarume wa Yesu ulikuwa ufarume wa mambo ya kimungu. Mambo ya kiroho. Lakini eronde, haka aka misunderstand the reason ya Yesu kusariwa. Na haka vikiria ya kwamba, Yesu atachukua ufarume wake. Today, we do not have an evangelist in this church. True or not true. Sini ukwe rio. Lakini sasa mimi kama mchungaji ama kama James akiwa mchungaji kusemekane sasa kutakuwa na muinjilisti. Alafu sasa instead of embracing that person who is to be commissioned as, as an evangelist to saidiane katika kasi ya Bwana mimi nitaanza kumpiga. Thinking that when he or she comes in atachukua my, my position. He will not. She will not. And that is what, what is killing our families. That is what is killing our working places. That is what is killing our church. Shetani Shindwe. We have Brother Edwin. We have Moses. They are conducting us. They are, they are, they are, they are wanatuongoza kwa nyimbo. Lakini mwingine tokeze pare. Arafu hanji hapa. Then you start thinking that amekuja kuchukua na fasi yako. No. Kila mtu amebarikiwa na kibari chake. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Leo tuko na secretary ambaye anaitwa nani? Esther. Mwaka ure mwingine, wakatuna mwingine, tulikuwa na masekretari wangine walikuwa katika this place. We have a chair ende today. Uh, pengine wakati wa uchaguzi, ukinja hata kuwa chair ende. Lakin that one does not mean that whoever will come as a chair ende, will take our position to tap our presence. No! It will never happen. Bwanesu wa sifiwe. Because mungu amepangia kila mtu mbaraka zake. Na vile mungu amekupangia, hakuna mtu hata mumonja. Ataka yechukua. That is what killed 
That is what, uh, what, what went into the heart of King Elod. Na kafikiria ya kwamba, huyu sasa Yesu wa mesariwa, atakunja kuchukua na fasi yangu. Yesu wakua na, na, akua na anja na na fasi ya mfarume rode. Why? Because Jesus himself, he did not want the throne of Elod. But he wanted to be the king of Elod's life. Yani Yesu akua anataka kuwa mfarume. Wakutawara, wakuongoza. Mahari Paironde. Lakini yalikuwa amekuja so that he can be the king of Herodes life. Christ Jesus amekuja na amesariwa ili yawe mfarume katika nyoyo zetu. Ili yawe mfarume katika maisha yetu. Ili yawe mfarume katika familia zetu. Yesu amesariwa ili yawe mfarume katika kanisa lake. Praise the name of the Lord. We have the Archbishop Emeritus, we have the Archbishop Erect. Those are our top leaders. Lakini Yesu, ye, Yesu siyo, siyo, Yesu siyo, 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 siyo Archbishop. Lakini Yesu ya mekuja, hili hawe mfarume, na hawe mfarume wa miyoyo ya viongozi wetu wa kanisa. He has come to be the king of your secretariat. Christ Jesus has been born to be the king katika uongozi wako wa kina mama chiaridi. But he's not taking your position. Am I talking to somebody? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Yesu, Jesus is not coming to become the husband of that family. Ye yesu yo bwana wa hiyo familia yako wa mama wa hiyo familia yako. Lakini ya mekuja hawe mfarume wa hiyo familia. Ha. Yesu ya mekuwa amesariwa hawe mfarume wa kanisa la kasarani. Sio kasarani, sorry. Wa kanisa la kanairo. Nujo murivunza. Amekuja hawe mfarume wa kanisa la kanairo. Na wakati tutakapoerewa hivo, then we are all going to be receptive and tutampokea Yesu katika maisha yetu ili yawe mfarume wa maisha yetu praise the name of the lord he is not going to rule but he will cause me to rule in me he is not going to take the position of a chairman but he will cause me to exercise the duties of a chairman being in me this is very key. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ is not this archdeacon, but through him and being the king in my heart, he will cause me to do the duties of an archdeacon in the best way possible. Yesu asifiwe. Yesu hata kuwa wakucheza keyboard para kwa Morris Lakini Morris akimukubali awe mfalme wa maisha yake atamwezesha kutekeleza kazi ya uchezaji wa keyboard akiwa ndani yake Bwana Yesu asifiwe Christ Jesus will not come to sing he will not come to lead praise and worship lakini akiwa ndani ya praise and worship team they will be able to praise and worship God in the best way possible. And once we realize that, my Indian brothers and sisters, there will be no fight in the ministry. Praise the name of the Lord. There will be no fight in the ministry. See all the Torah, the meto, na ye o mwanya mwanya, reke mundu arugame. Another thing which is very key is that Christ Jesus came so that he may give King Elon eternal life, not to take away his present life. Na hata sisi, Yesu wa mekuja kazariwa. Hili ya tupatie mwoyo na uzima wa mirere. But he is not coming to take away our lives. Today people are often afraid. 
that the Christ will take things away from them. Wengine hata katika makanisa hawatoi, hawapeani. But in reality, Christ Jesus wants to give us three things. Na ndizo nataka kumalizia na zenyewe. When we have prepared hearts, hata wakati economy itakuwa mbaya kama vile imekuwa. Hata wakati maisha yatakuwa magumu kama vile yamekuwa magumu. If we are ready, if we are receptive to God's divine guidance with our hearts being prepared to receive, then there are three things that Christ Jesus will give to us. One, Christ Jesus will give us real freedom. Tutakuwa na huru na huru kapisa. We are not tied. We are not in captivity because we have received Christ and Christ being the, 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 the king in my heart, Christ being the king in your heart, Christ being the king in your family, Christ being the king in our church, then we are, we are, we are, we are, we are there to have the real freedom. We are never in captivity. Hallelujah. We are not in captivity. Our families are not in captivity. Our church is not in captivity. Our worshiping is not in captivity. We have the real freedom because we have accepted Christ Jesus to rule in our hearts, to be the king in our hearts, to be the king in our worship, in our worship. Number two, that Christ Jesus will give to us is peace. Vayo. Amani ambayo inapatikana tu kutoka kwake we shall have peace even when things are tough there will be peace the bible says that may the peace of god which surpasses all human understanding be with you why because tunajua ya kwamba in the absence of peace then our hearts they are already hurt so christ jesus will give us peace Ata wakati tumekadhirika hata wakati tunapitia magumu amani ya Mungu ambayo inapiti ipitayo hata tunjaria na hata tupea and number three, that Christ that Christ will give is joy that Jesus himself will give us joy if uh, uh, if we are, if we are accept him to be the king in our lives so Christ Jesus will give us real freedom, you will give us peace, you will give us joy. My dear brother, my dear sister, let us all give Jesus the throne of our lives. Tumpatia nafasi katika maisha yetu. Tumpatia nafasi katika familia zetu. Tumpatia nafasi katika mambo yetu yote. Akibisho wetu, America ya last Sunday. Na akiwa retired of visa it is only through God's guidance that he can be able to guide the church of Christ as a retired of visa. That he can be able to continue guiding his family. Kuna watu wengine ambao wakiritaya na sio kuritaya kasi ya kanisa peke yake hata kazi zile zingine yani unaona tu mtu anajidharau kwa sababu amekuwa a retired person lakini ukikubali ya kwamba Yesu atakuwa mfalme katika retirement yako those who are nearing to retire like our chair ndi unajua you are the, you are the oldest kwa, kwa upande wa kina mama when you retire Ukikubari Yesu awe, awe mfarume katika retirement yako. Kila wakati hata katika mboma yako unapotembea unapoenda utakuwa na amani ya Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So let us brethren give Jesus the throne of our lives. And once we give Jesus the throne of our lives, then we are going to experience freedom. We are going to experience joy we are going to experience peace. As we continue serving God in the year 2024, 
Let us give Jesus a praise in our hearts. And once we give Jesus a praise in our hearts, chochote ambacho tutakuwa tunaitanjika kutoa kwa anjiri ya kazi ya bwana, Mungu will, giving, will be giving us. But if we complain, if we don't give Jesus a praise in our hearts, if we don't allow him to be the king in us, in our, in our, in our, in our lives, then every other time we will have no peace. Every other time we shall be grooming with no joy. Every other time we shall be complaining. There is no freedom of worship. There is no freedom of this. There is no other, this. There is no, no this. Kwa hivyo wapendo katika njina na mungu nara muana nara roo mtakatifu na wasihi tupatia yesu na fasi katika nyoyo zetu awe mfarume. Na akiwa mfarume katika nyoyo zetu maisha yetu yatakuwa mazuri. Kazi yetu itakuwa nzuri. Biashara zetu sitakuwa nzuri. Kanisa letu litakuwa smart. Familia zetu sitakuwa poa. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Tusimamene.